guys, Dan McCoy with R.O. McCoy. We're here in the American Concrete Pumping Association booth. And uh, we're actually, we ran into Kerry here. We're just going to talk about some uh, safety concerns. Um, you know, mainly what we run into, um, and you see this a lot in the field as operators, not setting up cribbing correctly or not putting the outrigger pads down. They either do a reset, they don't have the time. That's one of the things ACPA really tries to get uh, a hold on to make people aware of that kind of safety. And, and I know in our fleet, uh, we've converted most of the use from our plywood, you know, the, the made at home outrigger pads to an engineered pad like Deca. And uh, Kerry, if you want to take a minute and explain, you know, some of the safety concerns that, that your product really covers up for us. And then I think you got a really cool new product here that you told us about. I think it's called yeah. ProStack that um, uh, it's an engineered uh, cribbing system to create that gap that you do end up with with cranes and concrete pumps on a daily basis on a job. Absolutely. Take it away. Yes. Well, thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being a great customer. <laughs> it's great to be here at the World of Concrete and uh, really excited to partner with you guys and to be a part of the ACPA. And we have for many years heard lots of different uh, complaints and desires to get a way to safely crib up for height. And we have worked with some, some great partners and we have a product called ProStack Cribbing, which allows you to engineer your safety. We have a load performance rating of 110,000 pounds, and it's using an engineered material so the load properties and the material properties do not change when they're exposed to moisture, when they're exposed to the environment. Um, so it's really a, a very good solution. We've got guys in the field now using it for probably a couple of years, and really seeing some tremendous success with a safer setup. They can stack up to six feet high, um, they can do some, do some really powerful things with it in the field. Yeah, and, and you know, like we were talking beforehand, I really think when you compare that to like a, you know a heavier native timber uh, that you want to use, you know, as an engineer, you, you you can't count on that all the time. You right. know, am I dealing with the the, the eighteen hundred psi you know crushing force? Am I am I going to deal with um, um, some deleterious materials that are in that wood? Uh, they're going to be knots or something. There's always that in the back of your mind. But with an engineered product to do this kind of cribbing, yep. it's great. You've got this column, you know, certified for basically 110,000 pounds, um, going all the way down. I just, I just think that's that's a great idea. It, it, it looks a lot safer than you know stacking four by fours. Absolutely, <laughs> no, it's it's phenomenal. And, and it's, the system, as you, as you mentioned, it's designed to work together. So we start with the, the base die pad. Uh, we machine in a pyramid interlocking pattern into that base pad, and that allows the, the pyramid or the, the pro stack blocks to lock right in there. That way, there's no lateral lateral movement. Um, you just stack them up in six inch high increments, you cross layer them, and you keep going. Um, you put a top layer neoprene pad on top, and the neoprene provides a little bit of cushion. It also provides grip, so when that outrigger float is placed on top of that, it also protects the the uh, the pro stack uh, pattern itself. Keeps it from eroding over time, and this provides a really strong and safe setup. Now, another cool thing I like is um, you were just showing me some composite um, crane mats for high capacity stuff. Oh yeah, I mean like big steel mat stuff. And I was just mentioning to you, you know, before that uh, we kind of had to make our own. You know? oh, yeah. So it, it was kind of out there, and now we've got these great manufactured crane mats. Uh, I see they're called fiber max, uh -huh. and uh, that's that's pretty impressive stuff. The way they're stackable, easy to put out. They weigh what about a third of steel? So correct. I mean, that's a, that's a no-brainer for if you've got to be on the move with with a mobile unit, yeah. especially even uh, not, not so much even the pump side, but you know you're talking about crane setups, crane erection. That type of, that's a, it's a really cool product that I didn't know existed until we just talked about. Oh, I know. Well, I'm glad we, I'm glad we had a chance. To, uh, to meet you today and uh, get you geared up on the Fiber Max Mega Duty product line. You, I was not aware that you even had cranes larger than 100 tons. So <laughs> we all learned something new today. We, we seem got, to be in the pump are, world quite a bit. You're sitting on a 110 ton RT crane then. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, the 100 ton category up to the 500 ton category in the RT, the all terrain fields, that's where this Mega Duty product is designed. We actually, we actually have some concrete pumping companies on a 70 meter that are using the 6x4x6 by by Mega Duty pads. So it's an engineered fiber reinforced polymer product. The only steel on it is a steel frame. And then that's why we're able to then use the technology of the fiber reinforced polymer. We create internal bi-directional shear webs. So you being an engineer, you understand yep. load distribution better than most. You know, with a normal uh, steel pad design, you might get two-directional or 
bi-directional because the uh, channels are going this way. Inside of the Dyka FiberMax Mega Duty, we have an internal bi-directional shear web grid where we can now take the load and distribute it out in four directions. Huge benefit. It really reduces your peak pressures on oh, job yeah. sites and just really engineer, again engineers a safe site. So, so if you have a if you have a soil that's that you're more concerned with punching shear, yeah. um, you know you, you've got a sand or you know a lot of times you, you, you get a bloated clay that sometimes it, it'll want to it'll want to heave and go down on you. You think it's okay, um, but when you're dealing with the kind of weights that we're dealing with in the crane application and the larger booms, the 61 meters, the new 65s. Um, and like the 70 meters yeah. that, that Bootmeister has, um, that's a lot of weight, especially when you've got the boom out there over one outrigger. You don't want to take a risk. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. hey, Harry, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you I talking appreciate with you. us and promoting safety and supporting ACPA and, and providing a good product. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.